voice of Cortana, is going to reprise her role as Cortana in the Showtime television series, which just recently resumed filming. Natasha uh, McElon, McElon, did I say that name right? I don't know. know Natasha, if you're watching, I do apologize if I butchered your name. She was originally cast as Cortana and Dr. Catherine Halsey. But because of COVID and filming conflicts, uh, she's only going to be playing Catherine Halsey, which I think is fine. But Jen Taylor's coming in to reprise her role as Cortana, which is awesome. Yeah, that's amazing. Awesome. Okay, so uh, some people were like, okay, how does that work? Like, why can she continue to do Halsey and not Cortana? Maybe, maybe, perhaps... Halsey is a live action character um, in the show. And, That's exactly what it is. Yeah, right. And you know what? Maybe, and and this isn't anything that's come out. They, they didn't say they didn't like her voice. The reason that they said was because of COVID and scheduling conflicts. So maybe that's, the, maybe that's the case. But Cortana is most certainly a CGI character. Almost 100% fact going to be a CGI character because look the way we got the way we can do graphics in movies now is ridiculous and shows is ridiculous. Right. So there's no 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 doubt in my mind that they are going to do her as a CGI character. She's an AI, big deal. But I mean, they could use they her probably, likeness as the CGI character. I mean, Jen Taylor's a beautiful woman, so I mean. I, I, I don't know that they will. I think that they, they will make her won't. look. I, I think they will make her look almost exactly like she does in the games. Or at least very similar. Very similar. Very yeah, similar. And it would be cool. And, and, and you know, they they obviously have a young, fit dude playing Master Chief. But, you know, you never see Master Chief's face yeah. in, in the games. It'd be cool. I think they might show his face in the show. Which Like the Mandalorian. Gonna, yeah. I mean, they do kind of show his face. Um, but, you know... I think it was like just his eyes at the end of four. They kind of showed his, his eyes and stuff. And uh, I believe people were saying he's a redhead, which I don't, I've never pictured master chief. Why is that a, a, why is that a thing? (laughs) Okay. Moving on. Gross. (laughs) Um, The the actor's not redhead, but I think it'd be cool if if they didn't show his face. Red hair. We're obviously just joking, but like, seriously, why is this important? Okay. But whatever. Well, right. So I was going to say, if they never show his face, it'd be cool if Steve Downs got to reprise his role as Master Chief, because that voice for Master Chief is iconic. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Naturally, I... they need a young, fit dude. Sure. To play because Steve Downs is like in his late fifties right. or sixties. Yeah, I think. yeah. You got to have a young, fit dude to be in the suit. I get it. Um, his voice. Uh, it, they probably put it through a, a, a effect. Um, you know, simulator or whatever. True. So, I mean, I'm sure he'll sound probably, he'll probably sound fine. Probably sound very similar to what the way he does in the game. So not a big deal there. However, I think I, my guess, my guess is that they were filming some of the Cortana uh, uh, or they were recording some of the vo- Cortana uh, voiceovers and if things were just not feeling right. Yeah, some 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 guy that's that that's a Halo fan that was there was just like, no, we need Jen Taylor for this. He was probably like, man, I this isn't right. It's just not right. And I mean, her performance in Halo Four was awesome. Yeah, I mean, look, not the best think Halo game, but her performance was awesome. Oh yeah, she her voice is brilliant, and Cortana, like, I mean. Ha- we care about an AI playing through these games. And Crazy is that? We're talking about we're talking about uh, generations of of Xbox players of people who played Halo. Okay, for gen- like we're talking about generations now of people who have played ha- Halo and heard and know Jen Taylor as Cortana and know that voice. Not just that, but then you remember Microsoft putting out Cortana as you know their, you know as their Siri. Um, I mean, really, like, a, think about all the and people that was her voice know too. Cortana, yeah, think about all the people who know Cortana's voice. <clears throat> it is Jen Taylor, and so I, I think this is really cool. I imagine 
I imagine that though they say it was scheduling and COVID related, I imagine that it was somebody I, and that's probably just the nice way to, you know, put it down. But I imagine somebody was listening and going, yeah, this just isn't right. This isn't right. It's possible. I believe what they're saying, but I do think it is possible that they're like, you know what? We need, we need, we need Jen Taylor. We need Jen Taylor in here recording this. Cause she can hit this. She knows Cortana. She's been playing Cortana for almost 20 oh, yeah. years. Oh yeah. If you go and look at her Twitter, I, she, I think in her, uh, you know, in her, um, bio in her Twitter is like something about plays a, plays the voice of a blue lady <laughs> or something <laughs> like this. I like, get just so funny. Like it's, I mean, she has been Cortana forever. Talk about the role of a lifetime. Yeah. Like honestly. I mean, yeah. Uh, it's, it's kind of like, uh, Kevin Conroy, uh, playing Batman and, uh, or Michael He's, Ironside playing uh, Sam Fisher. That's dude. That, I'm I'm saying like it's that voice. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows the voice, and that's that's the way it's supposed to sound. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, think, I it's, think it's if, really if cool. anything, it's a huge. I mean, obviously they're making a TV show, so it's not just for gamers, not just for Halo fans. It's for a new audience as well. Yeah, that they want to bring in for that. But Do I think having what, having uh, Jen Taylor in there is a huge fan service, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do you remember what, what that's releasing on? I can't remember. I don't. I don't know when that's releasing. I don't have Showtime, so I don't know what I'm gonna do to Oh, watch. is it Showtime? Yeah, oh, it's Showtime. Gotcha. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. So uh I really want to watch that one. That one I'm super I'm so excited for that. Yeah. I you know, I've been we've been waiting for a Halo movie since back like before Halo 2 or around Halo 2, I think they were talking about doing... I think Peter Jackson was supposed to uh, do the, the original Halo film. They swapped director so many times and it just kept yeah. falling into... If I remember right, it was Peter correct. Jackson's uh, protege. Uh, what's the guy? Uh, he did District 9. I thought Peter Jackson did District 9. No. No, 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 no. It was his protege. Uh, I think he produced it. Oh, um, I know Peter I Jackson remember. was supposed to be. I can't to be, remember. Peter I can't remember. Peter Jackson remember was supposed to be on Halo. Yeah, he might have been. He might have uh, been a producer or whatever. <laughs> I, either way, uh, District Nine is what that we got never ended up happening. That never ended up happening. So clearly, uh, well, you know, we've all been waiting for a very long time. It's so funny. I mean, we're talking about Halo. Halo's still my background on my PC. I mean, it's always been my background. Yeah. And, and this is. Super interesting to me because I've always wanted a Halo film. I've always wanted the Gears of War film, you know, an Uncharted film, which is actually happening. It's um, happening. And, you Gears know, I, is and in I, the I works. like that video games are getting picked up now, and a lot of them from TV shows, which I think is the perfect platform for yeah. video game stories to be told. It's a good medium. For it's a fantastic video medium for video games. It's perfect. They fit. Perfectly, because yeah. you can have hours and 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 hours worth of story being told, just like you get in video games. Yeah. Imagine a Mass Effect TV show. That'd be incredible. That'd be incredible, wouldn't I, it? I don't really watch a whole lot of those Battle Galactica stuff. Um, <laughs> throwback to last week's episode. I know I know. now it's called Battlestar Oh, my gosh. This but Mass good. Effect would be one that I would actually watch. That would be an epic show. Yeah. That would be an amazing show. And and here's the thing. <clears throat> Can you imagine? I, I mean, <laughs> just it's <sighs> – okay, shows shows happen over a series, right? And you get you get hours and hours and hours and hours of this show. And hours and hours and hours and games, hours and hours and games hours and hours. Games are hours and hours and hours of interactive experience. You think about – okay, for example, think of The Witcher. Here it is. That there's a show. It's a popular show now. In, and The Witcher In fairness, the, Witcher is originally a book series. Sure. Okay, fine. Which uh, I believe is okay. what the show is based off. So go to go to Mass Effect. Mass Effect has hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours in that game. You can spend hours and hours. I mean, you could literally easily play only Mass Effect for a year. Easily. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. So Trying to stuff all of Mass Effect into a movie or a trilogy of movies doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It makes no. a lot more sense to put it in a medium like a TV show where they have 10, 12, 13 episodes 
at an hour apiece to a be season. able to push out. 